Tampa is dealing with an abundance of bats, so it's building what could be a possible solution. Jen Holloway joining us live from the Laurel Street Bridge. This is right along the Riverwalk. You have the story, and you haven't dodged any bats yet, but they could be out there. Be careful. No. <laughs> I'm safe so far, but I can tell you that right around sunset when we were here, we could see the bats starting to swarm and get together as they began their feast of mosquitoes and gnats. But pretty soon the bats that live underneath this bridge will have a new option for housing at Julian Lane Park. Joanna Gregg and Olivia Hill spend several nights a week enjoying Tampa's Riverwalk. We like to sit and, yep. and just enjoy the outside. Greg says she's not shocked to hear that bats are buzzing around this area, and she thinks a bat house nearby is a great idea to move the bats away from the bridge. Like a birdhouse, they will move into that and they will stay there, and then they will just kind of at night hunt around that area. Robin Nye is Tampa's manager of art programs and is now working on the project. That's been great when nobody was there, but now that traffic is picked up, the idea is if we can relocate the bats to an area where they can still do the good of the community that they do in terms of eating the insects and that kind of thing, um, then it's a win-win for everybody. The bats are still in the area and they're away from the people. How do you make a bat house artistic? Well, you ask an artist for some input, and, and artists are great problem solvers, and they come up with all kinds of solutions. Solutions that sound great to Riverwalk fans like Olivia. Then we can go out here and be like, yay, without having to be like, ah, bats. <laughs> And he is right. Earlier, I spoke with Steve Barlow. He is a biologist with Big Bat Houses. That's a company that's hired to work on this project, and he assured me that this will be a Cadillac of bat houses for Tampa Bay. Keith? Yeah, the bats do some good, though. They're eating the mosquitoes, the gnats, the bugs, and all the mosquitoes, all that sort that's of stuff. Right. So bats can be our friends. All right, Jen Holloway. That's mm -hmm. my editorial commentary. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Jen Holloway, live along the Riverwalk. Thanks. <laughs>